President Trump refused to sign a multi-trillion dollar spending bill that includes a $900 billion COVID relief package. News Channel 9's Madison Moore breaks down the fate of the COVID-19 bill and what congressmen here in central New York are saying about it. With a second stimulus check and additional unemployment benefits on the line, Congress's efforts to pass a COVID relief bill before Christmas fell flat late this weekend when President Trump refused to sign the bill into law. Trump has called the bill a, quote, disgrace and wants to up the stimulus check from $600 to $2,000, something his own party isn't backing him on. Republican Congressman Tom Reed from New York's 23rd Congressional District and Republican Congressman John Katko from the 24th District are among a group of Republicans who have said in written statements that they urge the president to sign the bill into law. However, these calls have gone unanswered. Millions of Americans are now left without additional federal assistance for unemployment, and up to 40 million Americans could be homeless through eviction. Congress members are rushing to Washington tomorrow to try and save this bill and prevent a government shutdown Monday at midnight, including one of its advocates, Congressman Anthony Brindisi of the 22nd District. In a written statement sent to News Channel 9, Brindisi voiced his support for Trump's efforts, reading in part, on Monday, I will be back in Washington to vote for the CASH Act to send higher direct stimulus payments to working families. Hopefully the president can convince House and Senate Republican leaders to get on board. The COVID relief bill is also set to provide $16 billion for vaccination development and distribution, plus some much-needed financial support for renters and businesses. And, of course, we will be tracking developments with the bill right here on News Channel 9 as all eyes will be on Washington tomorrow.